All right, sailors, while we're on the topic of responsibility, let's revisit the topic of ranks, the roles each rank plays in the classroom procedures, and mainly the responsibilities of each rank. We'll talk more about the privileges that each rank will have later. We guarantee that roles and ranks with more responsibility will be rewarded with extra perks, too. First, there are the Commodores. Remember, they have the highest rank a crew member can have in the class, right under the Pirate Lords, and they are seated at the back of each fleet, or row. The Commodores are responsible for keeping their fleet in line. They deliver class materials to the captains at the start of class every day. They will present fleet-sized work, or whenever the whole fleet is working on a presentation, the Commodore will give that presentation to the sea. They will help remind their fleets to maintain class expectations. They will delegate tasks or give out tasks whenever the fleet is working together. They are responsible for leading their crews in lines like we've practiced. They collect their class materials from the captains at the end of every class day, and due to their absolutely essential role in the start of class, Commodores cannot be tardy. If you are tardy without a pass, you will be demoted as a Commodore. Second, there are the captains. They are the back left member of each crew or desk group and are responsible for keeping their crew in order. Captains are responsible for keeping their crew organized and ready. They give sailors class materials. They check the crew for required materials. They're allowed to leave their seat to assist the crew. They ask teachers for extra materials. They help remind their crews to meet class expectations and procedures. They delegate tasks and crew work. If they are tardy three or more times, they'll be demoted down to sailor. They collect crew materials, and they ask the Commodore for help if needed. Last but certainly not least are all of the individual sailors. If you've not been told that you are a Commodore or a Captain, you are a sailor. Now, sailors are in charge of their own education and work, and they must ask a Captain any questions they have before they ask the Commodore or the Pirate Lord themselves. If a crew captain is absent, the captain's elbow partner will take over their duties, so in certain situations, sailors might act as captains. It is the sailor's duty to inform a captain of any missing class materials so that the captain can acquire those missing class materials. Note, this means that sailors do not just raise their hand or try to get the pirate lord's attention if they need something, they talk to their captain first. Sailors clean up trash at the end of class. They must never, ever abandon their post or their seat and sailors must return their materials to the captain at the end of class to ensure they are all collected and neatly stowed. If you're interested in moving up the ranks aboard this ship, then be sure to exhibit responsibility in class to show that you're ready to take up a higher rank. Ranks can be changed as often as every month, and the pirate lords love to promote new candidates and co to commodores and captains often, but we won't be promoting anyone who doesn't seem ready. Prove your responsibility, and the Pirate Lords would love to see you rise to the role of Commodore.